The Abbey of Thornet stands among the three Cistercian abbeys in Provence, accompanied by Silvacane and Sinanc. Established in 1136 by a group of monks who departed from the Abbey of Mazin in Ardèche, it was erected close to Lourdes, nestled within a wooded area, embraced by a gentle river, and a bubbling spring. The construction commenced in 1160, and persevered until 1230, witnessing its pinnacle housing about 20 monks, and numerous lay brothers. However, the passage of time marked the abbey's decline. By 1660, the prior emphasized the necessity for restoration, and by 1699, the edifice bore the weight of worsening damages. Cracks, collapsing roofs, fractured doors, and weathered windows. By 1790, only a small group of seven elderly monks remained in residence. Fortunately, the endeavor to preserve the abbey was ignited when Prosper Merimé brought it to the attention of Revoil, an architect specializing in historical monuments. The restoration efforts took flight in 1841, and persisted due to the gradual acquisition of the site by the state, commencing from 1854. The architecture of the Abbey of Thornet exquisitely embodies the very essence of Cistercian art. An ode to extreme simplicity, sleek lines, and unembellished volumes, all meticulously designed to facilitate communal living. Across generations, this sanctuary has been a wellspring of inspiration for architects, exemplified by Fernand Pouillon in his novel, Wild Stones. Presently, distinguished contemporary architects, like Eduardo Sudo de Mora, or Patrick Berger, are annually invited to contemplate the structures and execute reversible interventions as part of the lessons of Thornet.